there's the mighty Triffin up there. 3,000 feet, oh, just over 3,000 feet high. And that's the North Ridge, an excellent scramble. But um, absolutely impossible to find a car park space here. I managed to find a place just a few yards down here and uh, hope I don't get a ticket when I come back. Yeah, everything's jammed full. No, no parking. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's hopeless. Uh, so I wanted to walk around Coom Idwell uh, today, <clears throat> but uh, I couldn't find. Well, nearly a mile away, I had parked from where the walk starts. I had to park nearly a mile away. Uh, of course, the idea is to come early. Of course, um, the, uh, it's excellent scenery around here, but it's unpleasant walking because this is, a, you're walking, well it's a nice footpath, but you're walking on the side of a main road. I've taken a video of this area before, Penny Alwyn, 3,000, nearly 3,200 feet above sea level. Uh, that's Ogwen Cottage, uh, somewhat bigger than the cottage I stayed at in my younger day. You are here, right there, and uh, that's where I'm going to walk, right in that uh, kind of orange route there, around uh, Clean Edwell. Clean Edwell. And I, uh, I parked there, so uh, Penny Alwyn when, yeah. Uh, right there. There's that mountain again. And that's the problem trying to keep a six foot distance on these paths. When I first came here, in, well, I first started coming here on a regular basis in the early 1960s. I had got my first wheels. You could park here, no problem, and then climb a mountain. Uh, but now, uh, yeah. well, I had to park nearly a mile down the road. But it is, of course, magnificent scenery. Uh, yeah, well, I've only come a few yards, but uh, yeah, fantastic. That's the outlet from uh, Lynn Nidwell, and up there's the glitters. Okay, I've climbed maybe, well, a little over a hundred feet, if that. And uh, as I say, it's a, it's a low-level walk. My days of climbing up uh, to the top are there over. Nobody's wearing masks. And I don't think anybody's bothering with a six foot distance either. Uh, except me, but I'm not wearing a mask either. Uh, it's a bit pointless really if no one else is wearing a mask. This is a well constructed path, the only problem is uh, you, have, you can't really look at the scenery, you have to watch where you, where you put your feet. Unfortunately, it's uh, largely cloudy at the moment. There's Triffin over there. Uh, not quite so impressive from this side as it is from the other. And uh, yeah, various rock climbing buttresses scattered around. The most famous one is uh, over there, which I'll have a look at on the way back. Milestone buttress uh, for beginners. Up there is uh, Devil's Kitchen. Who the? I don't think it's in. Yeah, okay. This is Clean Edwell. I'll be walking around the uh, the far side and coming back the near side.
very popular here. Uh, here's another nice little footbridge. This one's slate. There's the outlet for the lake. He gone there. I'm saying this, but uh, it's fantastic scenery here. Mountains, if you like mountains, fantastic. This is a nice, uh, a nice, uh, nice little beach here. This was a good idea coming on this side of the lake. There's quite a nice footpath around this side and uh, far less crowded uh, than the other side. <coughs> Which would be, normally it wouldn't be, well, you know, no problem. But with the virus, uh, and, uh, the likes of me getting on in years, uh, become more cautious. I've got this place now on this side of the lake to myself. Uh, very nice. Oops, I just said that there's some people coming. Okay, I'm at the uh, head of the lake now. It's only a short walk, really. Milestone buttress there, which is, I'm heading for now. Very popular route for taking beginners for their first rock climbs. Well, it was in my day. And uh, over there is uh, the Devil's Kitchen. <laughs> uh, a cleft through the rock. There's no footpath up there, but uh, the actual footpath to get to the Glitters uh, Ridge goes up uh, by that waterfall. Uh, up, up, at, and then there's a thousand foot ascent then up onto the actual ridge way up there somewhere. Yeah, fantastic walk, but uh, well. Okay, I'm up at the base of the milestone buttress. Uh, right here, milestone buttress, ordinary route goes up, goes up there, up there. No, we're not here today, but there are some people ready to climb on the side of the buttress down there. There's people right there, some rock climbers. But that was, uh, was very popular in my day, uh, but um, of course uh, most rock climbers now go to uh, go go to uh, places like where else? Where well. Hollyhead Island where there's some excellent sea cliffs. Yeah. Okay, so uh yeah, so there's there's the beginning. It's about a 45 free, 45 degree angle, it's quite uh, lots of protection on it. And it carries on up to the Sofria Ridge and eventually to the Glider Ridge, a, a climb which I've done <laughs> yeah, well way back in the 60s. Uh yeah. So that was nice, yeah. Now that path there, which uh, this is as far as I'll go, but that's the ascent path to the glitters there, right there. He's on a somewhat more difficult climb uh, on the side of the milestone buttress. Quite an enjoyable walk. Um, I have an excuse for plenty of breaks to, because I jump, generally jump off the path to keep up the six foot rule. So, uh, easy walking. Oh, I don't know. He's, he's trying the, I don't know where he's going. I don't think there's any, uh, st standard footpath up there. Okay, I've completed the circuit of the lake, and uh, so now it's um, well, maybe 
not quite half a mile back down to the uh, the facilities you might say down there and then along the road to the car okay so there's the main path right there but this path offshoot path here goes up uh, to the glitter ridge way up there glitter ridge and it goes up um, you can't quite see it from here oh yeah that's it yeah that ridge there the cribbing yeah the cribbing it's an, well, it's kind of like a rock scramble. Okay, almost back to the road. And uh, this bridge makes a nice start and a nice end to this walk. Just notice this, a pay car park right by uh, Hidwell Cottage. Uh, there is a couple of spaces here available. <laughs> Three pounds for four hours, that's... Yeah, if I'd have known that, I would have... This, there might have been spaces here. Still, no problem. This is the well-positioned uh, Hidwell Cottage, YHA Youth Hostels Association. I stayed there uh, in my younger day. Younger day, stayed there once or twice. And uh, you know, in those days, in the early 60s, 50s and early 60s, they uh, were run on a semi-military semi basis. There's a complex over there, the other side of the road. And there's uh, Clin Ogwin. Clin Ogwin. Yeah, it's uh, Penny Olwen. Penny Olwen. There's a footpath that goes right up, straight up there. It's a, it's a slug, right up to the top. There's the outlet. It's afternoon now, so our space is becoming available. Uh, people have finished their walks. There's that milestone buttress again. Uh, an excellent uh, buttress for beginners, rock climbing pin. And the, uh, the rock ridge goes straight up to Triffin there. Uh, an excellent rock scramble, that 2,000 foot non-stop scramble. Okay, I'm parked right here, so that's the end of this walk.